welcome back to my channel. Today we were making something very simple and easy. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have this in your kitchen. It's just a jelly bar, jelly bars. Very simple and easy. And if you have peanut butter and jelly in your house, you have the ingredients. So let's get started. First, we're gonna take, and of course, I have my recipe off to the side. I have the oven preheated to 375 degrees, and I've already measured out my ingredients. So the first we're gonna have one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon, sorry about that, three-fourths teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna get my whisk. I'm gonna mix this up. Now that we've mixed up the flour, the sugar, and the baking powder, we're gonna cut in a stick of cold butter. If you have a blending fork, that's fine. But if not, I have one of these pastry cutters. And I'm just gonna blend the butter in, cut the butter in until the mixture resembles like crumbled meal. So, but I hear they say the blending fork is better, but I don't have a blending fork. So the pastry cutter is what it's going to be. Okay, you can see how it looks like it resembles coarse crumbs. I'm gonna pour in our egg. And that's one beaten egg. I'm gonna pour in and mix it together. And we're gonna reserve a cup of this mixture. We're gonna reserve a cup of the mixture to put on top. About a cup. About a cup. And you want a, a baking pan, a nine-inch baking pan, and we're gonna cut. Sorry, we're gonna put this mixture in there and pat it down. Now we have that pressed in, we're gonna take the jelly, and it's just regular grape jelly that I just took the whisk and stirred it up some, and we're gonna pour that on top. But you can use any jelly you would prefer, whatever you have on hand is fine. And this is like a half a cup, so it's not that much. But you can use as much as you like to use but this is a half a cup of grape jelly. You see that's not that much. 
the one we have reserved. And we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven and it's going to be in there from 25 to 30 minutes. Come from Psalm chapter 1, verse 1, 2, and 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I love him, I love him, I love him. Okay, the jelly bars are ready to come out of the oven. And once they cool down, we'll be back to taste them. Okay, we're back. The cake, sorry, the bars have cooled down some. And I've already started cutting her. So we're gonna cut her. See how she tastes. Delicious. Not too sweet. That's pretty good. A quick dessert. For the summer, you have all the kids over and you want to give them something sweet, you have these ingredients in your house. So whip up a batch. It's really good. And I want to thank you guys for coming by and watching my channel. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Delicious! <laughs>